Shalom Aleichem. This Sikha that we're learning in South Bay is an interesting background. Um, what happened at that Farbringen? It was Shabbos HaGadol, five days before Pesach. There were a bunch of Farbringens, there were then Siddha Maimur, and he said like this. Before I go on to explain Arashi, I want to mention something that happened last week, Shabbos. What happened the week before? Shabbos Parshas Vayikra, before Davening, the Gabbai announced that the Rebbe would say a sicha on a certain uh, Rashi, and Vayikra, Perik Beis, Pasuk Hay, which was a mistake. The Rebbe wasn't intending on making a Fabrengen on that Shabbos at all. So the Rebbe mentions what happened, um, and the fact that it was like, it, something like that never ever happened by the Friedrich Rebbe, by the Rabbi Sienzi, and that they announced that someone would announce that the devil would do something and wouldn't do it. Um, and he said, well, the, the Rebbe spoke about various things. He said it was taka mistake and uh, there's, no, there's no grudge, but ultimately it has to be Vashkacha Pratis. And because it's Vashkacha Pratis, so then of course you can't get angry like the Altar Rebbe says, if you really believe that everything comes from Hashem, then there's no reason to be angry. Now, even though it happened to a person with free choice. Um, so the Rebbe says, we already know what it says that the person who the thing happens to, that was decreed that was going to happen to them. But there's a lot of messengers. In other words, this, it had to happen to the Rebbe, but this person happened to be the shliach to do it. And the Rebbe says that, and the whole idea has been expanded about the the sikhist idea about anger, etc. Now, that's even when somebody does something by mason. How much more so when it's done by by mistake and with good intention. So therefore, there's no reason to be angry. However, because it did happen, so we have to think about what we're going to do going forward. The Rebbe said, said that Mashiach is coming immediately, so it's not going to be Nagel Apoel, but it's not going to you know, have a, a realistic effect as Mashiach's coming, but at least for the back, you know, in the, for the L'Sha'avar, to fix it, we have to learn lessons. Now, Nagel, to the idea of learning a Pirish Rashi, um, then, and this is idea that we never did before, this whole idea of kaching and rashi, and people say there's already enough old stuff to kaching, why do we have to do new stuff, and some people think they're already passed by Chamesh Lamikra, so they don't have to learn anymore, but nevertheless, I'm not going to stop doing rashis, in other words, some people might think that it's a message I should stop rashi, I'm not going to stop rashi, I'm going to continue. But for the fact that they made a mention that there's going to be a certain Pirish Rashi on a, pasuk, a certain Pasuk, which is not a thing that we saw by the Dabayim that they would announce what they would talk about. You see it by Litvish Yeshivas that before the Drasha, before Shabbos Agado Drasha, they give Maram Matemis, etc. But it's not something that's done in these Daladamas. Um, and by the, the Rebbe said, like when you were saying that, some people think it's 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 the Chamesh Lamikra and it's not Megiah to them and therefore they sleep. The Rebbe says Lahar, I want to point out the story of one of the Tamidi Arizal, Rav Meisha Alshech, that would fall asleep when Arizal would darsh and say the satira, and no matter what they tried, they shouldn't fall asleep. It didn't work, and Arizal comforted him, saying that his neshama is shayach leila matrush, drasha, and therefore when it comes to say he falls asleep. The Rebbe smiled and said. But there's some people that fall asleep not only when they talk about Said, but even when they talk about the Emesh and Shah. So it can't be because of the Teichen of the Teira, which in general is the Chazara of what the Rebbe, the Rebbe, the Rebbe said and the Marshad, the Magad, etc. Because everyone has a part of Chazim so Kenabu So it can't be the reason of falling asleep. Anyways, the Rebbe said that that's the idea of introducing what we're going to say, that what, that's not a Siddisha Minig, so it's the Shaminig. Um, the Rebbe says, obviously, I'm not talking about the idea of learning Pirish Tashi. Of course, that's, that's, that's important. I'm talking about announcing what we're going to do. That's usually not a Lubavitcher thing. And therefore, and the truth is, this whole idea of announcing before came through the request of somebody, not from Zikni Anash, but a, a younger man that learned to take the and sits and learns Toyota and is fully involved in Toyota. And he pointed out that it would help the Shem, that they could be able to look first in the Rashi. But because this happened, there's room to say that's a simon that Lamaila there's a kapeda on this nugget. In other words, is a I'm not happy. And therefore, I will stop announcing which Rashi I will say in the Fabrain. Now, even though it was for the benefit of the Shemin, for the listeners, 
So I, Hashem, you know, gave me hair. Hashem, they wish to make a open day again. Hashem reminded me of Midrash uh, Chazal that from here, that from this Chazal, you see that there could be something in the Chesaron as well. We find regarding Hashem ben Ela that removed all the blocks that Yeravim ben Nevat put on the paths that didn't shouldn't go. Yeravim ben Nevat didn't want people to go down to the Beis Hamikdash because it was in the section of Yehuda. And he wanted to be, you know, he was the king of the top ten shvatim. Um, so Yeshua ben Allah removed it. Nevertheless, at the end of his day, something positive, something negative happened to him. And the reason was the Chazal explained Yerushalmi because he took off the yoke, the, the 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 stain off one individual and put it on everybody else. In other words, till then people could excuse him. They don't go to the base of is Yedava. But now it was their responsibility, and now there was a lot more people that were held responsible. And for that, Heshe was punished. So until then, it was Avin Shal Yachid. And now it became a sin of everybody. And again, when we don't say what Rashi we're going to learn, so you can't blame somebody who didn't kachin it because they didn't know what the kachin was. The kachin is something else, whatever. But when you inform people about the Rashi and there's time to prepare, then when you don't prepare, it's not only an a offense to. So and so that I was referring to himself, but it's a pagia, it's an offense to Rashi Kiriyah. So, therefore, for the meanwhile, we're going to stop announcing Pirish Rashi that we're going to talk about. In the footnote, he mentions that after a while, this younger man, who I believe was his name is Yosef Waldman, Yosef Waldman, he, he was piled under that to continue informing what Rashi can learn. I actually grew up in a shul um, on my block, in Crown Street, between Kingston and Albany. It was a small shtibel, Sassanich shtibel, that Yosef used to dab in there. Very, very bit of really early thing in the man. And all of us shown. And then the Levit went into this Rashi that we spoke about. And he spoke about the Rashi H. Tom Tukad on his Berkeley Sikha. And he starts off by saying the famous part of the Magid that said this part. I didn't know this. He said it in front of Al Tadeva 10 times because he wanted to engrave it into the 10 Kaifas on Nefesh, the 10 spirits. What's the part that he said 10 times? That you have to light up the H. on his back and the carbon. That it should be loy sikhba, that you remove the, that you extinguish the loy, like the yam yam, whatever refers to that yam yam from the of his letters. And when you accomplish that, then the reward is as, that the schus never gets extinguished. Then the devil went on the whole sikha that we learned. And then the devil came to the hira, that the hira was that in order that the that the aish had taira, the aish should be lit in, and the aira taira should be constant. You have to first make sure that you light up the neshama of another year that, that is by chutz. And the says, Lahar, to mention the, the Vart of the Baal Shem Tev, that the Baal Shem Tev says that there are candles. There's candles naturally. In other words, we're all candles, but the Avrida is to light up the candles. And then uh, the Rebbe like, finished with the Sikha, and then the Rebbe continued talking about the event that happened about the wrong Rashi, but because it's after a protest, the Rebbe then went on to explain this Rashi. And then the Rebbe finished off about, again, the part of the Magad the Mezrich, on the Lay Sikhbe, there's Kama Pirushim, deeper and deeper and deeper. The Pirish Pashat is that you have to remove all the opposition that says Lay, that they should say yes, not Lay. And the Pirish Afnimi, the deeper Pashat is that you turn Zdainus, things that you did on Avedis of the Mezid, into a mitzvah and tezachi. Yes, now we'll be asid lavai, when we'll be tshuva and everything will be transformed and never continue talking about this topic.